and I started my career with the Redskins. And I'm kind of a history buff, and uh, one of the uh, places that has really uh, touched me, I think, hopefully as a person, is uh, Arlington National Cemetery. And uh, if you guys have ever had the chance to, to visit the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and watch what is on display there, it's, it's truly amazing to watch those soldiers um, stand guard over the tomb and what they do, the precision. And there's a, uh, there's a creed that they have, and I, I, I copied it because I don't want to, uh, I, I couldn't uh, recite it by, by uh, knowledge, but it's the third, <coughs> excuse me, third U.S. Infantry uh, Regiment, and they're called the Old Guard, and it's called the Sentinel's Creed. And uh, when I was there, you know, I, I studied it, I read it, uh, and it really touched me. And I, I don't want to do it disservice, but it, it reflected on me, or it, it meant something to me as a coach, a young coach in Washington, just the words and what I tried to really instill as a coach uh, in me. And again, it's the Sentinel's Creed. My, <clears throat> excuse me, my dedication to the sacred duty is total and wholehearted. In the responsibility bestowed on me, never will I falter. And with great dignity and perseverance, my standard will remain perfection. Through the years of diligence and praise and the discomfort of the elements, I will walk my tour in humble reverence to the best of my ability. It is he who commands the respect I protect, his bravery that made us so proud. Surrounded by well-meaning crowds by day, alone in the thoughtful peace of night, this soldier will in honored glory rest under my eternal vigilance. Uh, it, it, may, it meant something to me. Uh, my father was in the military, and when I read it and when I watched what they do out there and, and read the creed, it's what I wanted to do as a coach. I wanted to... Uh, respect the integrity of the league and the players and really the fans. And just with the passing of Arnold and then going to uh, uh, Washington this week, it all kind of hit me just kind of who I am and who I want to be as a coach.